Hi, my friends. And just like that, it's Wednesday again. Here in my office, I've recently got an external monitor, which is truly great. I just connect my laptop with a little lead and then ta-da, I can see everything just a little bit better on a larger screen. Now, more than a few times when I have unplugged the laptop from the external screen and opened it up, opened up my laptop to use at home, the screen has flipped on me and so it's upside down. And I find myself having to use that little touchpad on the laptop to get to the control panel and to make the right selection to flip the screen back the correct way, the correct orientation. But of course, because it's upside down, because everything's upside down, I have to move my finger around in the opposite direction of my natural inclination. I have to move slowly or deliberately to get to the exact spot that I need to click on to make this right. So let's just say that it's a good job that I'm not a surgeon having to move with such precision. And I'm confident that there's a quick fix and I can almost see now the smiling eyes of my friend Bill Mansfield as I tell a tale about my tech woes. Why am I telling you today about my laptop screen? Well, this morning I just completed this exercise of reflipping my laptop screen when I turned to read our scripture lesson for this Sunday. And having just wrestled with this challenge of a flipped screen, I read Jesus' parable about the laborers in the vineyard, where the people who start at work at 6 p.m were paid the same amount as those who would start at work in the early hours of the morning. And here I find myself in my office wrestling not just with a flipped screen, but a flipped worldview. This upside down kingdom, the economy of God, in which the first are last and the last are first. I was reminded anew this morning that Jesus turns our way of thinking about what should be on its head. And then for us to live as people, to live as Jesus people, we have to read and listen slowly, deliberately, lest we miss the mark. So this is really just an invitation to join me on Sunday as we listen once again to this parable of Jesus who is always inviting us deeper into life in this topsy-turvy kingdom where all of us, all of us get more than we deserve. Friends, may grace abound for you this day, whether this day is tinged with joy or sorrow for you. And may we remember that the kingdom of heaven is closer than we think. Grace and peace to you today.